the there's a lot of options that, that you can set up that to really help it fit your style. So I, you may have noticed that I'm actually playing with the AI off because I've only got the one character. I don't really need the uh, AI so much because I I don't necessarily want to be wandering around um, automatically attacking enemies if I can Agreed. avoid encounters. Anyway. So, yes. Coming up for half three where I am locally. So, so this store is kind of my dumping ground for all of the stuff I don't need because oh I did make a nice profit on that not that it really matters that much when you've got 35,000 gold but there we are um Hmm. Right. Have a quick look. <laughs> oh yeah. I haven't handed in the bounty for prisms. It's not really worth anything. And the next thing on the list, really, I need to do is um sort out the problem in the mines. I can probably get that done in about 20 minutes. Shall we? Yeah, why not? So at least we can get on to the next stage of the... of the story. So, since I have a free slot free, I'm going to pop the Potions of Regeneration in there. Since I'm playing solo with a fighter, I'm going to tread on quite a few traps. Especially by the time I get down to the third level. But I'm Pretty much as well equipped now as I will be for the for the rest of the game. I think if I just check my inventory. There is a better helm I can get. I'll pick up um some boots of speed a little bit later. Um I, I'm not sure there's really a better armor. I, I don't think there's any um plus one or plus two splint mail. There is a uh, an extra ring that I want to get. We'll do that when we go to the bandit camp. And um, there's a ring of protection plus two, which I can't get until I actually get to Baldur's Gate, which is several At any cost. stages of the story in a, in advance. So we're not doing that today. Well, not this afternoon, anyway. All right. So if you're not totally familiar with the story of um, Baldur's Gate, um, the Nashkel mine is where all of the region's iron comes from, and the iron is a little bit crappy for reasons which will become obvious um in a, in a few minutes so your fate is tangled up with it and you've got to try and figure out you know why there's this iron problem or problem with the iron should i say so you get permission to go in ask the soldier very nicely and in we go Uh, yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, 
So if you can, if you're doing this at level one, yes, I'll return Eilie's dagger. Um, you can explore all of the map and waste lots of time and health pot potions and HP. Um, I'm just going to cut straight to the to the interesting bits. I've never heard of a yapping demon. Oh, you mean kobolds? Critical missing a kobold. You've got to be joking. Come on. This ability to actually zoom in and out. Sorry for the seasickness. Is also something you couldn't do in the normal original version, but is a it's a nice addition to the uh, enhanced version that I'm running here. Oh, come on, hit him. Right. So, there's a dagger. I need to return to its owner down here. He gives you a bit more exposition. Bloody bloody bar. Little bit of experience. So, once you've got that XP, Kill the kobolds. Swipe the loot. And cross the bridge to get to the... Get to the next level. The entrance is just off to the right. So there are a, a few lootable um, objects. At this stage, with the amount of money that I've got, it's not really worth my time trawling my way through them. I'm just really interested in progressing the story. <sighs> So, these vials of mysterious liquids, don't drink them. <laughs> but do keep at least one of them safe, because there's a, a quest associated with it. Right. Level 2 done. Well, I lost 14 hit points. So, oh, I've already used one of my... Oh, well, no, that's okay. Fine. Right, that ring... Um, you can either sell it, or you can return it to um, that poor dead miner's wife for a little bit of experience. On level 3, there are traps. So, mind your step. But since I uh, don't have any ability to find traps other than with my feet, I'm just gonna. I got plenty of. Health, anyway. Um, no, I'm not going to stand there and exchange missiles. I'm just going to trigger the traps. I 
as cobbles. They're not exactly a challenge at this point. Uh, yeah. One for now. Down here, there are more kobolds. We have a, a ghoul in one of the caverns down here. There he is. Don't let him touch you. Because they can ask the whole person. And in this next cavern down here, there are a couple of giant spiders, or huge spiders. They have poison bites. Venomous bites, right? Be technically correct about it. Oh good, more kobolds. Ah. Oh, and that cobble commando has fire arrows. You can see from the, the glow on that one. It's actually doing me a bit of damage. So let's get in close and personal. There they are. So all cobble commandos will give you two fire arrows. All right, and here is the entrance to the bottom layer, and there are no less than three traps. One there, one there, and another one there. So, I am going to hit my Potion of Regeneration and just run straight through the lot. Okay. I only took damage from one, which is fine. And I will recover those hit points by the time I hopefully get towards the a kind of, I suppose you'd call him a a boss, or a well, he's a story relevant character anyway. Who you need to sort out. Hey, okay. idea. My inventory. There is another ghoul around the bottom here, but he's only worth what 120 XP. Not going to make much of a dent, so I'm just going to go straight for the story boss. And cover the chamber, so there are no commandos. Okay, so Zan there is an elven sorcerer, mage type guy. He's really quite depressing, so um, I never really bothered recruiting him. And um, yeah, right. I've almost got all my X XP HP back, and Mullahay. 
the half orc cleric. He needs to die, so I can move the story on. And I'm not going to mess about. I'm just going to get in some cheap damage early on with a fireball. He only took eight. When in doubt, more fireball. Oh, he's probably gone after it. He's, he's probably out of range. That's right. So I'll cancel that. And barbarian rage. So that makes me immune to all sorts of things. <laughs> so I can just concentrate on bashing the living daylights out of him. Mm -hmm. Right, I need that symbol to hand in the next stage of the quest, and I need to pick those up to get the next bit of the story. <sighs> Let's sort this bunch of um, mobs out first. We can mop up the and mop up the trash and the loot in a minute. So this may look easy. <laughs> But do bear in mind that I do have a level 7 character doing a quest which is kind of like designed for people at level 2. It's, so it's actually much harder to manage with, with, a, with a party, ironically. Especially if they're all low level. Right. So I should trigger a cutscene by picking those up. Spoilers! We'll leave that. And there's nice stuff in here. It's not even trapped. Alright, um, I'll keep those. I'm not going to be able to use that because that's for clerics only. Uh, you can read the letters if you want, but. If, it, if it's your, the first time you've gone through the game, then it's interesting. That's the short sword plus one. And those are boots that give you 50% resistance to electricity. Again, quite handy if uh, you're going to go into a place, which you will later on, full of lightning traps. It's also why these potions of absorption keep uh, propping up as well. Um, there's a good reason I haven't picked that up. Um, I can't use it. It's only usable by Zan, and I don't. I don't think you can sell it either. So, yeah, forget it. <laughs> Boom. Right. So. I'll keep my melee weapon equipped on the way out. Because there are a couple of grey oozes down here which just don't really take damage from um, piercing weapons. You've got to cut them in two. And you can see they're actually worth quite a lot of experience. So the exit Think brings us back to uh, where we encountered that bunch of assassins a little bit earlier. I've got a bit of room, so I'll swipe that and that and sell it back at Nashkel. 
Uh, right. Boink. I want to ID that before I sell it. Worth much more money that way. So yeah, as promised, the mines didn't take terribly long, did they? Back. If you just want to jump on my sword, that's absolutely fine. And you can piss off with your arrows as well. Hmm. And back we go. Think carefully. Right. So if you want to um return that greenstone ring, you you have to break your way into the house. And actually, you know, uh, do you have any information on the mines? Hmm. Okay, it's a greenstone ring. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry, but he's dead. Yes, you can. You can. I'm not going to bother extorting you. I'll just take the eight eight hundred XP and go, and close the door behind me. But yeah, the the residents of the Sword Coast are, are surprisingly relaxed about whether you're breaking into their house or not. Okay. So, go back and see the mayor. Stand away, citizens. I found this file. Hmm. Show it to Thunderhammer. Okay, I'll go up to Baragos then. So my reputation is already maxed out. But more XP, more gold. All good. Right, um, ID, ID. So, very useful ring for cleric classes. Very, very handy indeed. Um, but useless for me because I'm a barbarian. So, um, it's going to get sold. Plus one longsword. Yeah, fine. And nice electrical resistance for people who like. You know, tread on lightning traps. Or argue with mages who uh, throw around <laughs> uh, lightning spells. Right. There's a chap standing outside of this... Um, What do you an inn? Or a bunk house. Oh it, it is the inn. Um and yeah, it, it's another assassin. Dear dear. Um I probably don't want to argue with him right at the moment. Particularly since I don't have any barbarian rages left. Get rid of all this trash. Oh, gold counts looking quite handy. And I don't have any 
potion. Parrot. Saving throws like. Oh. It's not great, is it? And he has boots on him. That means he's practically untouchable with arrows. So those aren't good. Don't have a potion of heroism. Sorry. That's no magic blocking. Yeah. Since I've got it for free, I'll use that. I'm going to quick save first, though. <laughs> For now, I am just I'm not surrendering to anything. Mm -hmm. Right. Drink that potion. Get in there. Bash his face. Excellent. I don't have time for proverbs, and I certainly don't need your company. Oh, look. You have to kill Steve. Okay. So, yeah, find familiar. Um, only useful if you are a mage. But that potion just lasted me long enough. Agreed. I am not already upon thy quest. Identify those things again. Those are more useful in everyday life to those. So those that cold resistance. The only time you really encounter enemies that are going to throw cold damage at you, they have um, arrows of ice. Those are better. You know, just makes it much more difficult to get hit with the boots of avoidance on. I don't need that because a, I'm a half orc. Already got Infravision, and even if I didn't, I already have those eyes of truth from the last assassin that tried to kill me in Nashkel. So I will, I will dump all of those because when I get to the um, lightning traps, there's not much point me wearing those when I have um, potions of absorption that do the job for me. So. Let's um, earn a bit more money. Yeah, those, those boots aren't really worth too much anyway. But that gives me a, a nice... Rest when we can. Hunt when we must. Oh. Agreed. He's tired. Actually, this stream's been kicking on for about three hours, so... Probably time for me to have a nap as well. 
I got another draw light wounds. That's quite handy. Right. Um before we confront Transic and um move on to the next stage of the story. We'll just go back to um, Baragost and yeah, looking over my hotess to see in the corner of the screen what the uh, game time is. I'm not sure um, Thunderhammer will still be there by the time I get there. Oh, 12 hours, maybe 5 a.m. in the game, at any rate. Think carefully. So let's say hello to Elminster again. Okay, so he is one of the most famous characters in the whole of uh, the Forgotten Realms. Uh, uh, the Jovial Juggler, where's that? Hmm. So, this officer of the Flaming Fist wants me to collect uh, bandit scalps for her and make a little bit of money on the side. Oh, good. You're starting early, Thunderhammer. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, just solve the iron crisis, please. Right. Hmm. So, I don't... I'm probably kind of going to come back for these... And maybe some arrows plus two as well. If you're um, a warrior class, you can really sink a lot of gold into very fancy arrows, and um, and healing potions. Yeah. So these are two of the best armors in the game. Uh, full plate plus one. Can't use it because I'm a bar barbarian, and you can only use this studded leather plus three if you are a thief. Gives you a nice bonus to your hide in shadows. So, yeah, nice. As expensive as you would uh, imagine. All right. Well, let's give this mage an early morning alarm call. And then I will have to bring this stream to an end, I think, because uh, three hours of constant talking is uh, getting a bit much for my throat, and I need some more tea. So we'll have to... Uh, Continue this quite soon. Now, you can just talk to him, or you can just blast him with a fireball from outside of the room. Which is more fun? Well, you know what's more fun. Come on. Okay. Now that he's aggroed, get myself mind shielded. You bonus hit points. And get in there and. Seems to me like these men want a little trouble. Um, no. 
all of your friends have been trying to kill me, so you you don't get any mercy. Whoops. That was messy. Yeah, if you kill him, you get this extra uh, ring, a swan, and ring of protection. And a little wand of missiles that you can ID and sell. And this tells you, go and find the bandit camp. Larswood and Pen. Eldvale, which are up here. So, this is quite a good point to actually uh, take a break, At any cost. have a bit of a rest. And, uh, yeah, we will continue this journey um, some other time. Well, thanks for watching, and, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you maybe learned something about the game as well. It is, it is as you can probably tell by now, one of my favourites. And, um, yeah, I'm not stopping playing it anytime soon. That's all for now. Ah, where's my mouse gone?